Hi there, welcome to Microsoft Intune Training Series. This is the series number 17. In the past, we did talk about other application deployment for Windows applications uh, with, by using Microsoft Intune. And in case if you have missed out any of the complete Intune Training Series videos, please do check out the description of this video so that you could, you know, directly point to that Intune Training Series. That being said, let's jump into the agenda of this training. So within this uh, lecture, we're going to learn about line of business application. In short, we also call it as LOB. So line of business applications um, deploying to your devices, especially for Windows devices and Mac devices can be deployed. So now uh, we are going to try, uh, try to do this for Windows devices within this demo. And followed by, trust me, this is going to be deep drive of the troubleshooting. Trust me, you don't find anywhere within this YouTube uh, or within the YouTube. I'm pretty sure that, you know, I'm going to deep dive to the troubleshooting with respect to the MSI application deployment. There are two major things that we can expect about the problems when you deploy the MSI application. One would be the, it might be failed uh, to download the MSI source. Other one would be the setup process. So we're going to deep dive that uh, in a minute or so. When it comes to the line of business application or LOB application, it's very important to understand about the concept. Let's say you have an application as a source is available. If you could see here, I have here on my computer, there's an MS Office application, right? So this application can be deployed in a normal case. But do you think that this is the line of business application no definitely cannot because if you see here there are different set of other files also available and uh, the set of file will be called by this right so how how to identify whether it's a line of business application or it could be a normal application so in this case if you see here this is a setup starting file and supporting files or the installation specific files are available as a dependency to this setup.exe. In this case, we cannot treat this as a line of business application and this must be converted to the format that we needed. So the format could be any of this format, either MSXE bundle or MSI X or Apex bundle or Apex or MSI. So ultimately, the entire source should be as a single file. Let me show you one of the example files. Let's say I have here seven zip application and also I have a config MGR toolkit and I also have a putty. So now I can treat these three as a three individual applications called line of business application. I should be able to push all of these individually let's say if I want to push it I would just go to applications go to Windows and click on add and choose your line of business application and select it and show the package file so in this case the package file is I can choose here putty so that putty can be you know uh, pushed directly from here or I could choose another application if I want for example I would like to go to with config MGR toolkit so what happens is as soon as I click on OK, it actually reads the entire MSI definition and it will give you the uh, information. Let's say the application name, description, all of that attributes automatically pre-filled and you could have an option to change it by edit option. So in my case, uh, I'm not going to edit anything, but I would like to add here publisher as Microsoft and also I could add here category as the productivity and any other information if I want to fill it I should be able to fill it and I'm able to add it to the required AD group so in my case I want to push it to an application group which we have created this is the application group that that's where it's going to deploy that's it so if you clearly notice here as soon as it says that created actually it's going to upload if I just you know show you here it's it's uploading the content the whatever the size of that file is there it's going to upload upload to azure serian content delivery network uh, from a microsoft point of view that's where it's going to upload once it's uploaded the package is readily available for the end user point of view so what we have done is we try to deploy a application called configure toolkit uh, also 
it is uh, available for a group called Diplo app so where the user is available okay now let's also have a look on um, end user point of view the experience before that I just wanted to show you some failures I would like to you know, generate so that I can deep drive the entire troubleshooting for you so for that what I'm gonna do is uh, definitely it's gonna success the config MGR toolkit so I'm pretty confident on this because uh, we haven't done any any changes but in case if you have any additional parameters that's to be know uh, given you could actually do it directly from the additional uh, command lines so within this like uh, maybe for log redirection or maybe debug logs all of that stuff can be achieved by adding additional command lines because we are actually pushing dot msi as you know that msi has a lot of other uh, commands for example msi exec slash question mark it gives you a lot of information about no basic basic output or restart force restart logging all of that can be appended as an additional commands for installation but in general uh, since windows knows the normal installation method that would be preferred but in case if you want to change it you have all the rights to change the command line arguments and this is not mandatory uh, that's why i didn't explain but in a production definitely this information is filled with some kind of you know log redirection that being said uh, this is how it's gonna work uh, that's good we will also push some other application as I said earlier I'm pretty sure that config MGR toolkit is gonna install without any problem as a line of business application but now the point is I wanted to prove some kind of error so once it's thrown some error i should be able to troubleshoot and show you the problems that we are going to uh, come up in the either maybe download or msi failed setup to install way to check what kind of logs all of that stuff so how can i do that is i would actually uh, reproduce this problem so if you see here there's an uh, application um, called office 365 uh, media this is out of that there's an mui file so definitely this mui is just a 792 kb so definitely it's not the file which is uh, driving the entire installation it's just the uh, wizard running installation and the rest of the backend files are these three files so definitely this cannot be pushed as the line of business application because we want it in a single application or single package as a MSI so what I'm gonna do is I'll just copy this file and simply I'll just go back to my test folder I would paste it here with uh, obviously mui.msi and I would try to you know deploy this I'm pretty sure that it's gonna fail on a client machine and we will see the notification and the failure information all of that stuff and uh, we will report it back uh, I know how to troubleshoot that case so let's go to line of business application selecting and uh, the file is this time office MUI it is identified good permission it's going to execute and uh, any additional parameters if you have I don't have any additional parameters so that's good and you could you know fill any other information like you know publisher information for example so I'm just gonna fill that publisher information and I'm gonna deploy this to the same group where we used in the previous for config MGR toolkit that's it so if you see here one more time it's gonna upload the file and then it's gonna create the entire application for us it just uploaded now and we'll see the end user experience now I started my Windows 10 PC and uh, there's a user who logged in here and I'll just go to settings and for my cards I'll try to pull up the policy so that I could show you the problems that might encounter so I think I should be able to pull the policy now so here's the applications that are deployed as of now so remaining application should come automatically on this machine so I'll just pause this uh, for a few minutes and I'll wait then I'll come back to you by resuming when the application got installed so here there's no application called configmgr toolkit as of now it's gonna install in a minute or so 
If you could see here, there are two files just uh, left over, which is under C colon Windows System32 config uh, system profile app data local MDM. Within this, there are two files got uh, automatically downloaded. These are the files that are related to your line of business application. So if I see here, uh, within this um, GUID, the product code specific, it has been automatically generated. And you could see here, I think the installation also might be completed by this time. Yeah, you could see here, the installation also just completed here on the system center. You have all the applications which are coming from here. Also, you could find here under Enterprise Desktop Application Management, you also have the similar uh, code which talks about this information. 5.4, so it should be under here download location. It is actually showing very clearly that this specific file has been copied from a URL called this is a URL which was started downloading for the getting the app service. And this is the SID of the user account. So you could uh, see here, which is a machine ID. In this case, uh, if it is a targeted for a user account, then uh, it would be a different case. But in case, if you're targeted, this is ID uh, will come for a local machine. So the installation behavior is uh, targeted for a machine specific, then you should be looking under this registry key from HKLM software Microsoft. So I'll just, you know, copy paste this uh, for you in my description of this video. So within this registry key, there are a few uh, things that are very important to understand. The first thing first would be the current download uh, URL, which is talking about this URL. And this is where it's going to download and also current enforcement uh, retry count, which is very important. This is going to retry for five times and uh, retry index, uh, which is the uh, current number of a retry. This is five times it has retried already and uh, retry interval, uh, which is the status as, a, as it says at the time to you know enforce uh, between the lost amount uh, of the retry to the current retry and uh, between that means it's a five times it's gonna if it is gonna retry every three minutes it's gonna wait and re give a retry and the start time which is the starting the enforcement time and the timeout would be the minutes that the installation process that runs before the uh, installer constitutes the installation may have failed or no longer monitor the installation operation so that's where it's gonna uh, look into the enforcement time uh, but if you look at the error lost error which talks about the actual status here uh, this is the lost error which talks about the execution error um, whether it's a success or failed but if you look at status which is very important here to understand uh, in case if you are getting as a code within here so I'm gonna give you the codes within the description of the this video link which consists here uh, if I just you know convert to decimal uh, it is saying as a 60 60 stands for enforcement failed but if you get it as a normally 70 meaning the in installation has been completed uh, successfully or maybe an installation you tried uh, that was successful so same thing if you just uh, have a look on it so this is for the application for the config mgr toolkit and you could see here we have the status 70 and whereas for other application as a 60 so 60 stands for failed another way 70 stands for success so if you ask me how would I troubleshoot from here onwards so the first thing is downloading specific as we talked within this uh, video link if you remember the agenda we did talk about very extensively on uh, one topic would be the MSI failed or download for that we would actually monitor the registry key for the status like you know retry count all of that status and uh, when it comes to the installation 
whether the installation is success or failure would be measured with the help of status so status has a code uh, starting from 70 10 20 25 30 40 48 50 55 60 and 70 so these are the codes are available so meaning from 10 to 70 you have a code in between um, you have 25 and 48 55 and also that's it I think you know 70 is these anyway it's complete status so you have these codes so based on these codes it's going to whether work or failure will be treated so let me paste this information for you uh, the codes information on the screen so these codes are very important in order to understand whether the installation is successful or failed as we talked 60 stands here failed 70 is uh, completely successful so it begins with the 10 and it proceeds further until 70 in case if it is not reaching 70 meaning it might you know uh, wait at the 60 means enforcement or the installation is failed so that's how you're going to find out in the status information now if you could see here on the client machine it is reporting as some of the applications has failed uh, for example enforcement failed for this application and the uh, toolkit enforcement is completed the status for the application deployment so you could find uh, this information which is coming directly from your registry values so if I see ending with FFCE which is this one which is ending with 60 it clearly says that enforcement failed and you could you know refer to the here the document number which is the enforcement fail with the 60 key so this is the back in troubleshooting this is how you're going to work on it let's try to check the status from endpoint manager admin center i'll just go to the devices and i would select this device which is the same computer which i'm going to select it here and if I just navigate to applications, it this is where it's going to list all the applications that are targeted to this device. So I could see very clearly that here Config Chat Toolkit got required status and it got installed. However, Office 365 uh, specific or the MS Office specific MUI which we deployed wantedly as the failure, it has failed so if I just click on this it's going to show the status and it's going to retry based on the retries that were configured automatically and then based on that if it is uh, installed if it was able to install it will change the status otherwise it will keep on retry and it will fails that that's how it's going to work um, this is a, just a status from the endpoint admin center so so for what we have learned we learned how to push the application and then we also learn where to check the registry key so the registry key can be found at HKLM software Microsoft enterprise desktop application and it, this is the key for the system targeted if it is the user targeted another key would be automatically generated and inside that the user target specific applications will come and for MSI uh, you would see here all the MSI targets so I have two applications which I deployed within this video two of them were available and the status I could see 60 or 70 based in the actual application status and also I should be able to uh, look at the enforcement status timeout retry intervals and retry count and also the download you see here this is very important so it's actually talking about the download link this is what the download which is coming from a content server and this actually gets downloaded with the help of bit service so bit is the key here bit is nothing but your background intelligent transfer service so that service has the job ID so that's a bits job ID let's find out more information on bits job ID how the download processes happen so unfortunately I was not able to shown or not not shown to you for a download failure issues right because I have a proper internet connectivity so let me show you that uh, also uh, in terms of you know how to troubleshoot in case if it is a download errors or download failure errors so all you have to do is you have to look at the bit specific log and the job specific task ID or bits job task ID now let me open up a event viewer to navigate further for you 
Now, if I open up Windows Events and point to application and services logs, which are the debug level logs, and go to Microsoft and Windows folder, or within this folder, you have something called Bits Client. Select the operational. So within this, you have an event ID three and a four. Also, you might get you know five also, but I'm going to first start with a three. Three is the ID which talks about the event ID three starts about the job started. For example, there's a new job called Bits Transfer ID with this job called. Uh, if you see here, this is ID one F. So 1F ending with 4FF. So the same ID has been started here, 1F and 4FF. So the long lengthy job ID has been started. And after a few minutes, if you see here, it's a 10.40.27, it started. And somewhere here, uh, it should end actually. It should end somewhere here. Yeah, this is where it has been ended. Uh, 445, somewhere here, yeah, 445. Yeah, this is where uh, four double FF got ended. Um, so the job has been started and ended within few minutes, or in fact, you know, it's just the uh, few seconds time it has able to download between these. So close to twenty seconds it has took to download since I have a very good internet bandwidth. Whatever if you don't have, uh, you would you know uh, take some time. And apart from that, you might get it some other uh, errors, uh, which are with respect to 204 let me show you some other events let's say this is uh, undefined authentication something went wrong so this is this is how 204 will show you uh, with respect to any kind of errors and also another event id which i can talk uh, would be the event id 5 i'm sorry if i have anything i would be able to show you uh, somewhere here event id 5 which is normally comes as the access denied uh, with respected or maybe system account specific problems it might come up so make sure that you know you should you know check it three and four and uh, in case if you're getting with that specific id and other uh, problems you might have to you know look into it for example 204 or 5 these are the common errors uh, within the event ids now let's move to other topic within this uh, we know that this application which is office 365 which has uh or microsoft office mui got you know failed in other way right so this specific application should be available on my client machine under c colon windows system 32 config system profile under app data local mdm this is the msi is available so now you know that once the application was successfully downloaded and executed uh, with the same uh, ID, uh, it's going to create the installation log file, whether it is a success or failure, right? But in case if it is not able to install successfully, it will show you that exact MSI file as it is. So all you have to do is you have to give it a try by installing with the silent installation commands manually if you are the package or if you are the SSM admin you know by this time what we will be doing we will simply change the directory to the current uh, path of the directory and we try to execute that automatically that command so let's say I'm just open this command and changing my directory to that specific path and then uh, this is a file which is if I try to maybe uh, give here MSI exec uh, and I wanted to install with the slash uh, I and then I could give here log uh, with a verb boost uh, with a directory maybe here with the same directory I could give has MSI log so let's see what would happen so it's a setup cannot install because it's required binaries are not found that's a 1713 error so if i see here this is where it clearly says the required files were missing the source is uh, directory is missing uh, the required files that's what it's going to show so you could you know look into these kind of you know logs by regenerate meaning 
let's say if one application got one time when you pushed it it was failed then you this is how you're going to troubleshoot you're going to check the registry keys and the bits job id whether it is successfully downloaded or not and if the file was still showing here as msi you can you could actually give it try to install with similar command commands and that would actually help you out to you know find dealing within this log file so i hope this entire deep drive of deployment along with the troubleshooting uh, help you uh, if it really helps just give me a comment if it is not you know give me a comment why not why it's not helpful for you or you might get you know another error or you want to share something or you want to get in touch with me please do check out uh, by posting in the comments i'm happy to respond to you as soon as possible thank you we'll catch you in the next lecture uh, with specific to win 32 application where in this scenario we worked with only one exe but what if if you have more files how you're gonna deploy it so that's what we're gonna try um, which is a common application in the next lecture please stay tuned for that session thank you